Hey everybody, quick video here. How to get your Onshape project right here. I got my Onshape project, but I need it to get sent out as that STL file. Currently, it's not an STL file. It is an Onshape file. So the 3D printer doesn't know what an Onshape file is. Basically, we're translating it from, let's say, Onshape, which is English, to an STL file, which is German. We're saying the same thing in both of them. We just need to get a translator that goes between them. So STL is the file language that uh, the 3D printer runs. So we need to get that exported. On our browser over here, we have all of our features. And down below our features, we actually have what we call bodies. So like this is, if I select this part one, it's selecting this entire solid body. If I had this cut right in half, there'd be part one and part two down here. So that'd be the two separate bodies. You can only submit one body at a time. I'm gonna right click on this body because I like what it looks like. I'm gonna hit export. Now exporting, the file name, you wanna have it be your, um, I'm gonna put this one as the, my actual file name, put your name on it, project. So P-Y-N-O-I. And then I'm going to put my last name in there. And then I'm going to put, and I should have not put a space there. And then I'm going to put, if it's inch or millimeter, so either mm for millimeter or in for inch. Because I have to be able to tell the 3D printer, we have to be able to tell the 3D printer that. Format is STL, binary is fine. I designed this in inches, so I didn't go up here and change the document format inches so I designed it inches resolution is fine and I want to download I just want to hit download and hit OK and right there it put a .stl file now I can come over to the Friday quiz and I can slide down and I can go to the Dropbox add files files from the computer and right there's my download, hit open, and it pops up, just hit upload, and now it is completed. So that's how you get from, an S, from your Onshape file, right click, export, go through your settings, okay, go back here, add file from your computer, and pick it out of the download. If you have any questions, send me an email. Thanks.